Hey MS gang, welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Liam and in 2018, I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS. If you wanna be part of the gang, it's dead straightforward. Just smash that subscribe button. In this video, I want to talk about something that's really important for all of us living with MS and that is treatments. Specifically, I want to dive into what's new in the world of MS treatments. Um, what you can expect if you're considering starting or even switching treatments. First off, I can't stress enough how important it is to stay informed about the latest developments in MS treatments. The medical field is constantly evolving and there's always new studies, medications and therapies uh, that are coming out and could potentially make a big difference in our lives. So what's new? Recently, there's been some exciting advancements in MS treatments. For example, there's been more research into disease modifying therapies or DMTs um, that can slow the progression of MS and reduce the frequency of relapses. Some of the newer DMTs have shown promise in offering effective management of symptoms and fewer side effects. There's also been a lot of buzz about stem cell therapy. Uh, and while it's considered experimental and not widely available, some studies suggest it might offer significant benefits to people with more aggressive uh, forms of MS, more progressive versions of the disease. And it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Now, I want to share a bit about my own experience. And as many of you know, I recently started my new Ocrevus treatment. Um, and while it's felt like a game changer in, in many ways, it's, it's not without its challenges. And I've had to navigate side effects, frequent hospital visits, and also the anxiety that comes with starting a new treatment. Prior to this, I started my DMT journey in 2018 with Tecfidera. Tecfidera comes in tablet form and is taken morning and night. Um, and I did see some side effects where I experienced things like hot flushes and would become hot and feel tingly and have like that sensation across my face. Uh, and this is something I controlled with a gel face mask that I kept in the fridge, something I would definitely recommend to anyone who struggles in the heat. Um, and whilst I've heard many positive experiences from those on Tecfidera, unfortunately, it didn't work for me. And my follow-up MRI showed more progression with the disease. Next, I moved on to cladribin, and cladribin is a chemotherapy treatment originally used to fight stickle cell leukemia uh, and is also taken orally at home. The tablets are incredibly strong uh, and you have to be careful for them not to come into contact with the skin or any surfaces around the house. Uh, the treatment itself lasts four years where tablets are taken over a two week period um, in the first five weeks and then again two years later and then nothing for the remaining two years. And again, I know of many people who have reported great things when it comes to cladribin, uh, but my review MRI after four years did show again further progression. Uh, and this has led me to where I am today, really starting off a new DMT journey with Ocrevus. Ocrevus is an infusion treatment and it's administered at the hospital. The first dose is split into two half doses where the strength is increased throughout the treatment. Um, and there's something comforting about being in the hospital all day, surrounded by professionals, ensuring that everything goes as planned. Side effects have included a sort of allergic reaction where I've had like uh, sneezing fits and become itchy and tingly. Uh, something that was controlled with steroids at the time, but it has continued in spells at home beyond my infusion appointments. Um, and I have felt quite sluggish and run down, fatigued, but all in all, so far, so good. Um, but despite the challenges, I feel more in control of my symptoms once again. I'm taking positive steps now towards fighting the disease. If you're considering starting or even switching treatments, it's important to weigh up the pros and cons and have a detailed discussion with your neurologist or your nurse um, and your medical team. If you're about to start a new treatment, here's what to expect. First, there's an initial adjustment period, which can be tough. You might experience side effects as your body goes and gets used to the medication itself. And it's also important to keep track of any changes you notice and report them to your healthcare team. You'll also likely have regular check-ins with your neurologist to monitor your progress. Um, so don't hesitate to ask any questions and express any concerns that you have. It's your health and you deserve to feel confident in your treatment plan. It's important to note that not everyone chooses to go down the DMT route. There are many MSs out there who are successfully managing their MS, focusing on things like diet, exercise, and maybe a more holistic, natural approach. If you are considering DMTs, and importantly, if you are considering not going down that route, then you really should research and discuss this with your MS team. In the end, MS treatment is a personal journey and what works for one person might not work for another. But the good news is that there are more options now than ever before. So stay informed, stay positive, and remember, you're not alone in this. There's a whole community here to support you. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Thanks for watching as always. And if you did find it helpful, do hit the like button. It really does help. Uh, and if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and join our MS gang. We're here to support each other. We learn from each other and we share our experiences. We're in this together and nobody fights MS alone. So take care, look after yourself, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.